Hello everyone, my name is Coldwin, and welcome to the 7 Days to Die finale. So, we are going to start with a little world tour. So, I am down here by our first horde base, which has taken a severe beating. So, the original plan when we showed up in this town was to basically camp out on the roof of this thing and use spikes to thin them out and then force them up the ladders which would have the metal hatches and we would just sort of pepper them with whatever ammo we had and at the time we did not have very much ammo so later now i think i'm just careful because there might be some respawns we cleared out the bottom here and had a hanging base so we were up on this platform here and that night is the, the night that all this got damaged like this. So they tore through everything. Like they just ripped this place to shreds. And down here too, you can see what's left of like the spike defenses, which isn't much. There isn't much left here. Um, let's go up and look. I bet you there's some respawns we may have to look out for, but that's all right. I need some frames. Oh good, the sun's coming out. So I packed up the last of the stuff we'll need for the horde fight as well, except for there's a few things crafting. And we're gonna go visit the trader. I'm crafting some ammo and some Molotovs for the horde knight, because I want to use the hatch. The little droppy hatch. Okay, what's up here? There's I knew there would be a respawn. One respawn's not too bad. So this is where we initially camped out. This was the old the old base. And we should be able to carefully get down to this platform so we can show off the uh the horde the horde base that we this was actually pretty good other than the fact that the like the walls itself could not take much this was a pretty good design other than the fact that the walls were weak that it was built in but i kind of liked having like a suspended base like this if I had the time to build like a huge thing, this would be kind of a cool thing to experiment with where you have a roof over your head, but you're just sort of hanging on a platform and you can drop stuff down on them. I, I did like that. All right, we only had one respawn too, which isn't too bad. So let's go, uh, let's go to the trader because we should, oh no, we can't yet anyway. So let's go visit the next, um, the next horde base we built. All right, so this is where our series is going to end. We will have a final showdown here. I have filled the, I can't show you the inside because I have filled it with mines. I'm gonna also add mines here. I made 16, so I'm gonna do that off camera, but I'm gonna add some more spikes and mines right around the perimeter and hopefully frustrate the zombies efforts a little more. But as you can see, there's blade traps, wires. Is that connected to the wire up there? It's hard to tell that fence oh it might be on the other side oh good the sun's the sun's coming out i'll have a better a better view okay it's connected there so i see two wires okay that's confusing that i did it that way but whatever so yeah you can see sort of inside here like there's mines just on the inside i think i may put some more spikes just around the door too to for really like force the clumsy ones into them basically so that'll have a little bit more spikes come Horde Night, but it's not going to fundamentally change that much. All right, and here is our glorious perimeter base. So we have a nice thick wall that goes all the way around. We have a little storage room I never needed in here. I was going to maybe make this into a cooler tower. Like, it, this base was kind of big for one person. It's, it's pretty big. Like, look at this. I got all this room to park vehicles I don't have. I love the reverse doorway because it's never clear which way um, it opens. So we refinished the walls. It's all concrete, painted concrete. Same with this. It's all painted concrete. I never really build with steel. I don't find it's really necessary. So I, I had fun kind of designing like the paint and everything for this, but I got frustrated finding the crafting recipes for furniture. So kitchen appliances. I needed kitchen appliances. That's what was missing here. So, like, the living room kind of makes sense. The bedroom... The bedroom is feels very complete, actually. The bedroom is one of the more complete rooms, so this feels pretty done. So, here, let me just... I'm turning the camera too fast. But the bedroom is, I would say, finished. There's not really anything I would add to this. Um, the living room could use a few more decorations. 
maybe a potted plant or two. And then this is missing the appliances. I have no idea where. And then bathroom, because it's so small, I would say this is complete. It's it's a sink with a mirror and a toilet. That's all you need if it's a bathroom. And a garage here as well, which I never really needed. Like I said, this base, this base could have served like a couple players in a multiplayer map. It's really big. Playing this game, it's always kind of surprising how little space you actually need. So before we check out our awesome farm, let's look at the mine. So this mine produces literally everything except nitrate powder. I never ran into a nitrate powder vein. Uh, oop, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to turn on the flashlight. There we go. So we have a huge coal seam. That's what we started with. And then I found iron and lead in this corner. So there's the iron and the leads back here and uh, stone, of course, and weirdly enough, a clay vein. I didn't think this existed, but it's like a solid clay vein. So that's kind of neat. And here was just, I was looking for stone, basically. So that's what's in these branches. They're just tunnels for the purpose of extracting stone for the, all the concrete, the, the concrete that the horde base took. And here's some sand and rock. So this was like, this mine produced everything, literally everything except for nitrate powder, which, kind of annoying but we i mean i would say that's that's pretty darn good though that's pretty darn good for a mine and then of course we've got the security measure here i, I kind of like that okay don't need the light anymore this is the pride and joy the rooftop garden i really like having these here i, I that's pretty nice and it gives us some shade <laughs> not that we need it and then here's our aloe in the sun our main garden which looks pretty nice everything's fully grown it produces more than you could ever need when you have like the farming per uh, perks maxed out you produce more than you could ever need because you you'll produce more than enough for seeds it's pretty great we got our super corn down here as well so that's what this is i've i never used it i just it's kind of just there it's like a trophy um and we have all the crafting benches so chemistry station our storage this is all i needed really because I mean, I've gotten desperate and sold pretty much everything else. The original loot box is still here and a campfire. This still has... Oh, good. It's done crafting, so we don't need to come back here. Perfect. I can just finish the series uh, over at the Horde base. So I've got everything on hand I need now. We're going to go to the trader quickly. But um, this part basically concludes the world tour. We were... It was very much a building series. If... If... Um, if that's your thing, I mean, I encourage you to watch from the beginning because it's basically that was my focus, building this into a survivor's paradise. I can safely say we have done that. Like, look at this. It looks great, especially the view from the from here. Anyway, I am going to run off to the uh, the trader because I have unfinished business with him and um i'll meet you there and then after that we're gonna be basically be fighting our final horde all right let's see if he's got anything nice for us we just i'm basically just looking for stuff to make this interesting at this point so molotovs um things of that nature that i can just sort of throw down through the hatch because i think we need to utilize that hatch i work so hard on it i mean it's got to be used all right, let's see what he's got for sale. Let's quickly sell some of the mine, mine things I found in the mine. I was going to say mineables, but... All right. Do you have furniture I could put in my... I guess so, but... I Oh, there's a bush. Uh, I, I don't care enough at this point. Okay, so what's left construction-wise? You don't have a lot for Horde Knight. You disappoint me, sir. You, you disappoint me quite strongly, actually. What is what is this? These would have been so handy ages ago. Ugh. You're giving me lower tier stuff that would have been helpful to an older cold wind in this playthrough. Now it's just... Now it's just a middle finger. Like a truck chassis? Really? Chainsaw. Don't have the money for that, but interesting. And some ammo I don't need. Okay, well... Thanks for wasting my time. All right, guys. So as I was saying, I'm going to I'm just going to put a little bit more spikes down here. I'll show you before I climb up. But well, I'm going to put some more spikes and mines down basically just to thin the ranks a little. 
I, I really like that we put mines up here because that'll help thin out the dogs that pass under the blades and the screamers. So that'll help thin their ranks. Um, so I'm, I need to cut trees down basically and make a buttload of spikes, put mines in them. Like see this, like these wedge formations. My plan is to do these and just add these in. But I'll, I'll, I'll see you at nighttime. So I'm gonna cut this here unless something fun and interesting happens. And um, I'll see you then. Well, I, I didn't expect this. I was just kind of wasting time and I'm being attacked, it seems, by the uh, zombie troop. Oh, right, you need to reload it to shoot it. Uh-oh, that was terrifying. Quick. All right, point blank. One down. Did you give me my arrow back, please? No? Can't miss when they line up like that. Another one. Eh, yeah. I, I like having them line up like this. <laughs> Hit the one in the back. Okay, that's enough of that. Got one down. Another down. And are you finally down for the count? No, you're not. There we go. Okay, a bit of, uh, oh, look, we have a straggler. Well, um, I don't know about the party you were following, but, oh, there's two stragglers. Jeez, you guys are a lot slower than your friends. Oh, there's a lot of them. Hope they didn't damage my stuff. That's one. <laughs> they just walk on. Just, like, march right over your friend. Well, we got the arrows, and they're slow. Oh. The nighttime mist is coming in. You know, I might as well go over and show you what I've done to the... Done to the horde base before we wait. Alright, we got, we got the pre-horde. There's always... On this day, there's always, like, a wandering horde that just happens to show up so that's fine i found some materials in the garbage i don't know why i'm i'm doing that but i just can't stop myself so i'm gonna dump that off and we're gonna go uh show off our new defenses uh not that there's much i did i all i did was exactly what i said i was gonna do which was add a couple of layers of spikes oh good that didn't hurt me So let's go see if there's any stragglers, first of all, around the building. And then I'll, uh, I'll meet you over there. Alright, I feel pretty safe safe about climbing up here now. Now that I knew there's oh, there's always one horde, and I didn't want them to wait, go waste all my mines, right? So, let's see here. It's predictably happened every horde night I've had, I think. So there's mines on the corner. We've got these, like, V-shaped funnels to force the zombies through. And then the critical path has mines sort of spread out. So this, this is the final deterrent layer. And there's the same thing on this side. All the sides where the entrances, where they're going to be kind of converging, are booby-trapped to high heaven. So that looks great. And we're just going to add the last couple spikes here. And I'm going to go up there and wait, basically. Because at this point, everything is done. Okay, get up here. Getting down will be fun. No, don't climb. Oh, down. Okay. Kind of dangerous doing this, but I can jump off to the, I can jump off to the hay bales. All right, perfect. Everything's ready. I've got. I painted these too. I was bored. I painted these, so I'm gonna sit here and wait until um, our merry horde rolls in and we're ready to deal with them. Okay, so I've full on ammo. There's some extra ammo in here. There's extra food, medicine. My tools are in here. We should be well prepared, though. I don't see this. Doesn't seem likely that this will go wrong, but you never know. Okay. Might as well just... No, let's leave some ammo. All right. I'll see you at 2200. 
All right, guys, here we go. I turned the volume down a bit because I find the Horde Knight music tends to get really loud and all the gunfire and zombies, but this should be fine. We've, I'm going to pop some of these here and uh, turn on... Let's see, how long does that ability last? The recog? Well, let's turn everything on first. Here we go. Power up everything. We should be... Oh, no, the timer one. How do I... Stupid timer. I've got to reset it. There we go. It doesn't matter how it worked. Point is, it's on. Uh, Alright. Oh, let's watch them come in. Here they come. Kaboom. They're already attacking the spikes. Oh, alright. Here we go. They're getting in. They're getting in. Here we go. It's exciting. Let's drink our potion. Recog. And why don't we have some uh, quick dinner? So, there goes somebody. Eat some food. And let's have some coffee for stamina. Oh, there's a cop on his way up. Let's get the big pistol out for him. If he makes it that far. He did not. Whoa. Look at the carnage. I like this gun. But I'm gonna switch to the, uh, the quick bang here. She's dead. I'm pretty sure she's dead. Yeah, there she goes. Let's help this thing along. I can't see. Actually, you know what would really help this thing along? Ugh, that's the throw. Okay, I knew I knew I didn't have that right. There we go. Look at that. Fire and electricity. Ugh, they've got no hope. Oh, look at them just falling. Ha! Ah. We have won this game. I I think it's... I know it's too soon to say that, but... It does not look good for them. Not in the least. I missed the, I missed the platform I wanted. Oh, wait! Why'd you turn off? You piece of crap! A relay! Stupid relay. I hate these things. Don't ev end ever. There we go. Now there's probably a whole bunch of them down here. Alright. There we go. I hear a lot of booms. They're getting closer. They're getting closer. Pop. Hey. I saw that. Uh, I, I haven't done too much, have I? I I'm just kind of watching this unfold, which isn't really a strategy. Hey, I see you down there, causing havoc. One down. Oh, vultures. Come this way, vul- Ah! Whew, scared me. He almost made it up. Come this way, vulture. Come towards the front. Luckily, I've got lots of blades up there to deal with them. Oh, you know what? Where are you? Got him. This is, uh, this is going better, this- oh, biker. I gotta be careful, there's mines right on the other side of this. Oof, look at them all. Oh god, oh god, Molotov. Okay, that should have burned a large portion of them. Yes, it did. Okay, good. Need to thin the horde. Ooh. We're getting soldiers. Level up, level up, level up, level up. Okay. 
We're not doing too bad. All things considered. I should have put more candles down. It's hard to see. Um, other than that, this is going pretty good. They're not making too much of a dent. Are there any... Nope, there's nobody up here. Oh, that stupid blade turned off again. I'm gonna have to, uh... Do something about this, because this doesn't work for me. The delay timer. I don't know if it's every 30 seconds it shuts off. What the deal is, I should have replaced it. I shouldn't have used it. I don't even see them anymore. I'm just shooting down at them. Oh well, we're gonna have a shooting shooting range here in a moment because this stupid thing won't turn on like it's supposed to. Bird? Where are you? I don't know why the... Oh, I hear it moving. There we go. Yeah, it must be every 30 seconds. You know what? I can live with that. Get out of there. You guys are going to cause trouble. Shot to the bum. Ha. Ah, you fell back down. Oh god. Here comes a bunch. Eat fire. There we go. Alright. Do I have any more weapons I can... No, I don't. Not really. This is it. Our final stand. Will we survive? Because we're basically guaranteed survival at this point. If we survive tonight. Because... Oh god. Big guy. Because we can loot during the day and mine at night. It's basically unlimited stuff at that point. So if this base can hold, which looks like it will. You just have to help the confused ones find their way. Ugh, backlog. I don't even have to look. I just hold the trigger button down. Ugh, get! That's right. No zombies allowed. Cra crawler! Do not want that getting to me. Not like last time. I don't know how they keep... Oh, they're standing on each other down here. Stop it. Uh-oh. We've got this. We've got it. It's fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, not the... Not the... Thing. I can't speak. As usual. Ah! Uh, that is not good. What they're doing right there, um, they're getting almost up to me. Whew. Uh-oh. That's right, get blade trapped. Shooting range. Save me. Luckily, we can retreat to the roof if we need to. Man, why is it? What's with all these bigger guys? They're blocking the. There's. They're blocking the stream. Get out of the way! You guys are clogging the path. Go. Get. I don't have anything else to throw down at you either. No treats to offer you. Get. This. We're closed for today. Okay, come on. How much ammo do I have left? Not much. 
that's okay. Man, we're just raking in the points. And we're doing a lot better than the last time, that's for sure. Oh my god, is it over? I think it's over, guys. I think that was the last one falling. Oh, no, here he comes. Ugh. Well, that was intense and short at the same time. Get. There we go. Team effort. All right. Um, apparently I won. So let's uh, let's go take a look from a safe vantage point. I think we won, guys. We did it. We survived at one in the morning too. So we did it. We proved it. Our base is sustainable. Between looting we could do during the day and, and construction work at night, we're, this is basically guaranteed survival now. So, do I have the stuff to repair? Yes, I do. I can just quickly do that from here. No, can't quite reach you. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's shut her down and uh, go look at what we got. So we'll do one final loot collection. Hello? Here we go. Do we have everything I need up? Well, oh, I've got tools I should probably take with me. The extra ammo can stay behind, though. So this can stay for whatever. If we ever do another Horde Night, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure this series is done. But it's there. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Oof. All right. What did you bring me? Not much. Oh, wait, I didn't even look for mines. Oh, that could have been a disaster of my own making. Let's get the blue bags. Blue bags aren't that great. What is this? Hazmat boot. There's a lot of junk. At least a lot of it stacks. Ooh, a book. More knowledge, Spear Hunter. We will never use that. But it's kind of nice that we have it. Alright, I've got just a tiny smidgen of room left. So far, so good. Oh, there's so many bad... Okay, is there any more blue ones? Careful, careful. They, uh... They actually did try to break it. Well, they didn't really try hard. Because you can see, like, there's not too much damage. Let me... Back up. I'm so... Oh, there is a mine still there. Jeez. Okay, this was kind of a bad idea because I'm accident prone. And... Oof. Like that. Okay. I'm just excited, too, because we won. We won this glorious battle. This was... The, that was, like, the first one, I think, that fell. I can't believe it. I thought it was going to be a horde night where they just kept coming, but I guess we reached the cap. We reached the cap early. What else? See? Ooh, a treasure map. Ooh. All right. Um, not that we're going to do anything with it. We're really not at this stage. This is, uh, yeah, it's not happening. Because this series is done. Of course, I blocked my only way back up. I was going to store stuff in the chest up there. And the bicycle stuck, too. Lovely. Just lovely. Well, a lot of the stuff we can repair and sell. Because it's... It's worth money. This doesn't really sell for much. Okay, we ran out of... Scrappable. Alright. Oh, another one. Huh. Well, imagine my luck. Not that... Again... I wish these had come in earlier in the game, when we were still pretty- Okay, there's that last coffee. So that's everything, unless there's something on the critical path here. Yeah, there's a couple. Ooh, like this one. Which I was able to take somehow. Uh, that I'm just gonna scrap, because it doesn't sell for any- Oh, right, the queue is- Oh, the brass is hogging up the space. Okay. 
Give me a second. I want to show you at least the loot. Is there any loot out here? Yeah, there is. Go figure. There we go. What else What else did you get from me? Scrappables. Man, inventory just is mercilessly filling up. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I've overfilled. I've overindulged, if you will. Let's just eat some dog food. I don't mind if we leave an empty can behind. Ooh. Something actually handy. There. There we go. Let's just look at the last uh, bag here. Let's see what's in it. Oh, and day breaks. All right, guys. Well, there wasn't anything too spe spectacular in these, so that's what's left. Um, so I am going to end the series here on a high note. We we were victorious, and we've created a successful survivor's paradise that we can maintain fairly easily. This can be easily re reset in like half a day. Um, uh, the base is basically self-sustaining with the food sources, and then loot would just get us further ahead. But we've, we've proven the point. We have conquered this world and started a new survival era. Now, it's done. I hope you guys enjoyed this series, and I will see you again in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.